In this MMP1 tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to save a scene and then recall that scene from inside the editor, um, on the iPad app, and then also on the front panel. Now, what a scene is, is a collection of all the settings of the MMP1 when it's in operation. It's different than the configuration that you create using the setup wizard um, or custom settings and then uploading into the MMP1. Once you've uploaded this configuration, you can have various scenes of that configuration. This speaker system's on, this input is selected, the talkback's on or off, these sorts of things. So let me show you how to do that. Um, here we have a configuration with two speaker sets, a couple of inputs over here, and uh, talkback mic, etc. Um, in order to create a scene, you have to go to the settings tab in the editor. And then once you're on the settings tab, we're on the scene page and we're on the miscellaneous sub page. Okay, so here would be the 20 possible scenes for this configuration. First off, I'm going to store the current scene as we have it which has the speakers at a certain level and a certain input selected, etc. So I'm going to store it in here like that. Now we're going to sync with uh, the MMP1. So there's scene one. Also, if you notice over on the hardware unit, the first button is lit up, indicating we have a scene stored in that slot, in slot number one. OK, so going back to the main page, let's change some settings here. Let's switch to the uh, MacBook input. And let's uh, reduce the level a little bit. And uh, maybe, I don't know, just to show the difference, we'll make some adjustments to the Q mix here like this. Now let's save that as scene number two. Store. Yes. OK. I don't know if it's hard to see maybe here, but uh, the second light is lit up on the front panel of the MMP1, indicating that we have a scene. We've loaded scene number two. OK, back to the main page. Let's recall scene number one. I recall it. OK, you see the Q mixer returned, the input switch back to Nuendo, the level turned back up again. That is the recall of scene one. If we go to scene two, boom, we switch to the MacBook input. The Q mixer has changed. The level has reduced. So you can see it's that easy to create a couple of scenes. Where this is really helpful now is we can actually recall that scene from the front panel of the MMP1. So regardless of what the situation is with the, I, or the MMP1 editor or with the iPad app, we can always select a, the first five scenes from the front of the MMP1 itself, which is very handy. So on the front panel of the MMP1, if I press the scene that I want to recall first, you can see the button will flash and then I press the recall button and that executes the scene change. If I want to go back to scene number two, press the scene number two button and then it starts flashing, then press recall. And now the MMP1 has switched back to scene number two. Something that's uh, very useful here, if we go back to the settings page, go to the global page and on the general sub page, there's an option here to use scene one button for an all mute mode. So if we do that and on the front panel of the MMP1 recall scene number one, you will get a all mute function, which will turn off all the speakers, every output out of the MMP1 in case you have a bad input signal or something's going wrong with a piece of equipment in the studio. It's a very handy feature right there to quickly turn off all the outputs of the MMP1 in one go using the scene one button for all mute mode. So on the iPad app, if I go up to the scene menu here on the control page, I can select the all mute scene. It asks to confirm, say OK. Now we're recalling scene number two. If we want to go back to scene number one, select scene number one, confirm. And now the MMP1 will switch back to scene number one. So there you go. That's how you create a scene and then recall it back on both the MMP1 editor, the iPad app, and of course, on the front panel. So for each configuration, you can have up to 20 different scenes. Um, so that can be used in any number of different ways, depending on your needs. Um, but that's, that's how you do it. That's how you create and recall a scene on the MMP1.